the Function with Purpose podcast. All things health, wellness, fitness, and education with a physical therapy perspective. I am Dr. Amy Bullock, owner and founder of Fortress Physical Therapy. Fortress PT is here to serve the Charlotte metro area by highlighting the importance of how and why physical therapy should be a part of your health and wellness lifestyle. Here we go, episode two, season two of the FPT Function with Purpose podcast. Dr. Amy here. Hope you guys are having a lovely start to your day, end to your day, middle of your day, whatever time of day you're listening to this. Thanks for the listen again. I appreciate it. Season two, episode two. All right, topic, topic of the day. How to improve your movement quality. So this is something that I have personally been focusing on for the past year and a half. And I found the answer. Totally, 100% found the answer. Time under tension. What does that mean? What does that encompass? How should you use it? So... I have constantly revisited this type of quality of movement intervention, I guess you could say that, but literally within my training and providing patients with doses of physical therapy exercise or therapeutic exercise, I add some type of time under tension component to the movement. So time under tension, literally, my athlete, I remember training with her at the beginning of quarantine, my master's athlete, she termed this very well, and it stuck with me. Time under tension, or tempo, literally works every muscle strand to fine tune your muscle contractions which then yields better movement. It totally makes sense. And man, when she said it that day, I said, wow, that that is like one of the truest definitions of tempo work or time under tension. You're trying to draw in every single piece of muscle strand of that particular movement. Maybe it's a bicep curl. And you're adding a tempo to it. And you're really trying to focus on a good contraction or a good mind-muscle connection or a nerve-muscle connection in order to promote a healthy, better movement pattern. So time under tension or tempo work adds these purposeful control points so that your muscles understand that movement. So time under tension or tempo actually incorporates three different types of muscle contractions that's known in the physical therapy and anatomy and physiology world. Some of you may have heard of these. But the first type of contraction is called an eccentric contraction. So you are slowly, we'll use the bicep curl as an example. You're starting with your elbow bent or flexed, and you have a dumbbell in your hand, and then you're going to slowly lower that dumbbell or straighten your arm towards the floor in a controlled manner. That is called eccentric contraction, a slow controlled contraction against gravity, right? And then you have an isometric 
contraction. So I always like to think of isometrics as you have a bodybuilder and he flexes his biceps as hard as he can and you know he's got big biceps and he's holding that position. That's called an isometric hold or an isometric contraction. So usually going back to our bicep example with the dumbbell, when you're at either full range of motion, meaning the fully bent or flexed position with the dumbbell up near your shoulder when you're contracting your bicep, the end range and deflection, and then also that end range into that full straightening of the elbow or extension, an isometric hold down there. And then our last portion of a basic contraction is the concentric portion of the muscle contraction. So your elbow's straight, holding that dumbbell, and you're going to curl it or bend it back up to your shoulder to work that bicep in a uh, concentric pattern. You're contracting or using that bicep to pull away from gravity, right? To pull against gravity. That is concentric contraction. So with time under tension, which is super cool, incorporates all three of these contractions. Talk about getting the bang for your buck. After utilizing this tempo work, and I still continue to utilize it personally within my training game, and I definitely carry that over with my patients, Oh my gosh, talk about enhancing your what we call neuro or nerves, muscular system, neuromuscular system. You're really fine tuning or filling in the, the, the cracks of the foundation to retraining that movement pattern again by utilizing tempo or time under tension that incorporates all three of these types of muscle contractions eccentric, concentric, isometric. And then you turn it around on the flip side, you get the instability or um, an unstable environment to promote a stable environment. So when you slow down a movement, you're creating or challenging yourself to be stable. How cool is that? Now, after being exposed to this type of work for about going on two years now, I think it is the king of, of, of getting better, of, of getting yourself out of pain, of training around pain, of giving your joints, muscles, and tendons a little bit of a break because a lot of times with these interval or hit um, and even CrossFit classes, right, it, it's very high intense. So we, we work on, in those type of classes, a lot of the concentric work, right? The contraction, the pushing against gravity. Um, rather than slowing things down from time to time to gain some insight on isometrics and the eccentric portion of the muscle contraction. So when, from a physical therapy standpoint, when patients come in and see me, I know right then and there, they're doing a lot of concentric work. So it's up to me to tell them that, okay, we need to start adding some of this isometric and eccentric and concentric shh, work all in one pattern. So why not add a tempo to it? I can probably almost guarantee you if you stay consistent with a tempo type pattern that your joints will feel better, your muscles will feel stronger, your tendons and ligaments will feel better and more stable, which then in turn, oh, increases power output, strength, movement quality. I can 100% vouch for this. Because I personally have a history of bilateral shoulder pain 
and this whole like left leg, hip, low back pain that comes and goes. Well, guess what? After two years of utilizing time and retention or tempo work, I do not experience it as frequent. I still experience it from time to time, but it's not like an every other week thing. Now that I've enhanced and strengthened my neuromuscular system, my nerves and muscle connection with quality of movement patterns using time and retention, I don't, I don't experience those bouts of pain that often or bouts of dis- discomfort or stiffness or even sensations of weakness. It's lessened. So, although, you know, we, we think we're zooming in into a, an overall picture that we're, we're envisioning our, ourselves down the road to try to zone into the detail work, honestly, you need to step back and literally look at the whole picture but be able to see the details from afar. And those smaller details or pieces are what value or what is valued in order to create your success down the road. Sometimes you can't see that because subconsciously we feel like we are, but it's not a br- uh, brought about at our conscious level. Sometimes you need some input from someone from the outside who knows what they're doing, who knows how to incorporate this time under tension or this tempo work with a specific movement that you're trying to get back to so you can continue to be out of pain and learn to train around pain and discomfort and not through it. Physical therapy 100% can help you with that. So quit asking Dr. Google for the answers. When are you going to step up, own it, seek help, and actually want to attain your goals and learn throughout the process. Physical therapy can help with that. That's a wrap for today's episode function with purpose podcast for more information on this episode check out the show notes within your podcast app be sure to subscribe like share or drop your comments and questions below you can also follow us on facebook twitter instagram youtube and linkedin thanks for the listen pursuit precision purpose